Hi, Joanne. Hi, Dr. Jen. Well, I wanted to start off today and to just ask you some questions because what I've learned over the last several years in terms of having you in some of my workshops and also working so closely with you for over this last year is how much you very much practice what you preach <laughs> and how important this path of consciousness is to you. And I really wanted people to get a sense of like, what does that mean to be like a consciousness practitioner and what you're gonna be offering all of our wonderful clients in the FAB program? So I think the first question that I wanna ask you, Joanne, as other people are gonna to get to know you more and more is why has this path of consciousness been so important to you in your own life? I started this practice well over 25 years ago. And to be honest with you, I fell into it. Mm -hmm. I fell into the practice of yoga through a connection of somebody that I met. And I didn't know in the beginning really what it was. I thought yoga was just a form of exercise and I wanted to move in my body. And I realized through the practice and through injury that mm -hmm. yoga was so much more than just a healing practice on the outside. Mm -hmm. And I guess through maturation and evolution, fast forward 25 more years of life, it has been a grounding practice for me. It's been a practice where I've been able to pull tools when I felt like life was in a rough patch or I was being challenged um, as a parent. I've been always been able to go back to yoga, specifically the breath mm. and now in its spirituality form. Mm. So beautiful. And, you know, I know some people who are listening to this is like, oh, Joanne's going to be teaching me the downward dog or really yoga. Like, how is that going to make a difference for me? So, and you're starting to paint the picture that yoga is more than just these poses or what they call asanas. I'm wondering if you can say a little bit more what yoga really is about and um, how it could actually make a difference for some of our fab participants. I use the yoga poses as a way to introduce people to connect to their bodies. Mm -hmm. So the yoga poses from what we see in books, sure, sometimes look like pretzel poses. And I do teach some of those postures, but more importantly, I use the basic foundational poses as ways to shape the body so that we move our body in specific directions, us being upright creatures, we don't get to move our bodies in different directions because we are bipeds. Mm -hmm. So I use the poses as a way with the breath to show people how to move and to more importantly, not only be conscious of the sensations in their body that arise through these shapes, but also to move energy stagnant energy that gets stuck by just us being upright or seated, right? We don't fold ourselves upside down. Like you were saying in down dog, we don't side lean. We don't twist our body from right to left. It's just a way and a tool to allow people to become conscious of the physicality of their being. Wow. That's so beautiful. The way you said that. And what I've seen in the work that I've done over these years is in eating disorders along the spectrum, there's such a, a disconnect that can really happen with the body. So this idea of coming back to the body and coming back to the breath, it's like kind of can, having all these pieces of ourselves come together to really create kind of that wholeness is so important. And and I'm wanting to see if you can share a little bit more, how does this begin to, and I know this is a deep question, and, uh, but how do you think this starts creating like this higher consciousness? It really gets us sort of thinking in these 
maybe bigger ways. Some people would call that a spiritual way. Yoga in its definition is the union of body, mind, heart, spirit, and breath. Breath is the bridge of consciousness that brings all of that together. I think the challenge in our culture is, is that we only think we are our body or we only think we are our mind. Mm. So through the practice and the awareness of the alignment of the cues that I specifically use, whether it be psychological vocabulary, spirituality terms, or very functional anatomical body parts, I'm telling you to put your body part in certain places, by the practitioner listening and connecting to all of that, makes the awareness rise up. We develop a higher consciousness when we start to put all of that together. So as I teach yoga, whether it be to an individual or to a group, I'm very specific about the words that I use because the words will trigger those various parts of our being. Mm, beautiful. Well, Joanne, I'm so glad you are part of this team because this work is really about bringing all of these parts together, right? This program is really a holistic program and what we're really trying to help all of us do, all of our participants, including our team as well, is to develop this, this wholeness within ourselves and really this sense of coming home to ourselves. I think when we, we really come home to ourselves is really when we are thriving in our lives. So Joanne, I can't wait to have you continue to work with our amazing women and men who are in the FAB program. Um, and we're going to be talking a lot more about some of these amazing topics. Thank you, Dr. Jen. It's my honor. <laughs>